A group of men behind prison walls gives back in a big time way. They're hoping to help stop gang violence by paying for children to become members of the Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland. Shay Harris is live on five with more on what they're doing. What a great idea, Shay. Yes, it is, Lee. Well, it costs $10 a day for, well, $10 per child, that is, to join the Boys and Girls Club. And for some families, that's more than they can afford. But these ex-gang members put their heads together and they came up with a way to make it happen. When I was six and I finally got the chance to go to the club, it was amazing. 20-year-old Kenyatta Edgerson is a junior at Hiram College. She says the Boys and Girls Club exposed her to a new life. Without it, she wouldn't have made it this far. I've lost five friends since from high school. And, one, and two of those friends were from cancer and three of those friends was from murder. Kenyatta is one of the Boys and Girls Club's success stories. And thanks to a prison chapter of the NAACP donating money, more kids growing up like Kenyatta will get to enjoy life outside the violence around them. They've basically taken their 17 cents a day that they make there in the prison, and they combined it together with others to make an opportunity for the youth out here to give them a safe place. Boys and Girls Club's Nancy Johnson says these men are moved by the number of children dying and going to prison for violent crimes. They want to give back. They want it to make a difference where they destroyed the community. Ex-gang leader Minister Adamu L represents the men behind the wall. He says he was 20 years old when he helped fuel the gang fire on Cleveland streets. You and no other child here in, in not just the city, all of America deserves this environment that we have participated and created for you. Another now Minister Adamu for asks group. for forgiveness and I'm redemption, like, you know, not only for himself, but also for ex-gang members who are in prison. Just as much as we cause this havoc, that we gonna do something to change it, even if some of us lose our life. Now, Johnson says the effort to stop gang violence is community wide, but she says it can't be done without the men and women who helped start this vicious cycle. Now, she says the community has to open its heart to accept their help. Live on 5, I'm Shay Harris.